So the region skids that are right here, this is what we're going to take back to Tulsa. The region skids, the bases of the flares, and this is what we're going to rebuild and revamp and then uh, send it back up here for the new location. Some of this equipment will remain. Uh, we've got a flash separator, reboiler, filtration pumps. That's the major equipment and then all the ancillary piping. We'll reuse the vessels. We'll strip them down. We'll uh, pull the insulation off. We'll check all the paint, corrosion, rust, clean them everything, repipe what needs to be repiped, respec the things that need to be respec. So with the pressure increase with the new station versus this station, that's one of the reasons why these have to be rebuilt is because we have to bring them up to the new pressure specification. They'll be running 1600 PSI maximum operating pressure versus these skids and that contactor were actually built for 1360 PSI maximum operating pressure. So in our design phase, what we have to do is we have to change out piping, we have to change out flanges, we have to change out the high pressure end of the pumps pumping glycol back to the contactor. We got to rebuild all of that kind of stuff so that it will accommodate the new pressures. And there's things throughout the skid that'll get rebuilt, but most of it gets reused, but there are things that get rebuilt and then we'll completely revamp it to meet their standard specification as far as looks, feels, where everything connects, because we've been building standards for them for several years now. We'll bring it back up to the standard. As far as the thermal oxidizers, these are the vertical thermal oxidizers right here. And so really the, the top half, we see the flange right there. The top half of that is just nothing but a stack with refractory in it. There's no reason for us to take that back to Tulsa because there's nothing that we would do to that. So we'll break that, we'll leave the top half here and we'll actually bring the bottom half back and we'll redesign that with different flame arresters and different control systems and everything on it back to the way that their standard is and then bring those two bases back up and then they'll reconnect, we'll repaint and everything else and, and bring that back to their standard. So we only need to take the parts back that they need, revamp and then We'll reassemble it whenever it gets back up here. That's pretty much it. Both of these systems are gonna get loaded up uh, in May. We'll load them on the trucks. We'll have several trucks. We'll take it all back. We'll do what we're gonna do to it. We'll bring it all up, give it a new paint job, give it a new feel, bring it back up to a new location, and we'll set it back in and as uh, repurposed equipment.